What's up, Scorpio? This is your How Do They Feel About You spread. This is for the month of June, so if you're Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, and you want to know how the milkman feels about you, I'm just kidding. But this can be about anybody, all right? It could even be about your dog. If you really want to know how your dog feels about you, Scorpio, give it the thumbs up. If this one resonates, leave your comments. If you need a private reading, it's all below, all the info. All right, reach out. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How is your person feeling about you, Scorpio? We're going to check it and see what's up. Two more shuffles, and we're getting to it. Hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for all your love with that uh, last reading there. You guys show the support. I love you so much. So grateful. All right, let's check it. One more shuffle. Scorpio, how does this person feel about Scorpio? What kind of actions will they be taking? Throughout the big fat month of May. Oh, just kidding. June. Haha. <laughs> Caught myself. Let's check it out. This person that you're thinking of, what's their story right now or what are they telling you? The Ace of Swords. What's on their mind, Scorpio? What is it? Well, it's the big fat Ace of Cups. So we have two Aces here. Okay, this person could be new in your life or a resurgence. How are they feeling in their emotions? Scorpio, the Hierophant. Sign of Taurus. All right, how's this person walk in their talk versus what they're telling you? The hermit, sign of Virgo. <clears throat> what's going on in this person's environment? So what's external to them that's affecting their walk? The nine of wands. All right, and what kind of action are they going to be taking towards you? The hanged man, sign of Pisces. Throughout the month of June, what is it? All right, let's check it. Bottom of the deck, the Ten of Swords, Page of Cups. Somebody wants to apologize or offer some type of emotional communication here for some betrayal, some hurt. I'm going to move these over a little bit. You guys, I am. You guys and gals. Yeah, so the overall energy, <clears throat> check it. There was an ending. This is probably somebody that you're already dealing with or dealt with in the past, but also the Ten of Swords, Newsflash, the Ten of Swords can be um, really hurtful communication as well. It can. It can be a fight. It caused a lot of pain, though. There was an ending of betrayal. Somebody wants to communicate or apologize. You might be dealing with another water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Their story right now is the Ace of Swords. So see communication, truthful communication, okay? Whomever you're dealing with. They want to break through. They want some type of victory, and they want to communicate the truth and get to the heart of the matter. It has to do with betrayal. Because on their mind, Scorpio is the Ace of Cups. Well, they might just be in love with you. All right. Again, it could be new love for some of you. Take it how it resonates. Ace of Cups is also very healing. There's a lot of healing energy. You see the outpouring of the emotion with the water there. Again, more water energy. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. How they feel about you in their emotions is the Hierophant. So this is um, Taurus, Major Arcana. You might be married to this person. Maybe they want commitment. But also, this is all about tradition. So the person, how they feel about you, Scorpio, is they want something traditional. But guess what? This is also lessons. This is teaching. It's learning. It's tradition. It's rules and regulations. The Hierophant can be um, very spiritual, can be a teacher, can be a tarot reader, something like that. This person may feel like they've learned some very valuable lessons. All right, we're going to see what's going on there. But how they're walking their talk, how they're walking their talk versus what they're telling you or their actions is the hermit sign of Virgo. See, very spiritual. We have a lot of spiritual energy here. You guys might have some type of psychic connection. The hermit is very wise, very knowledgeable. The hermit will kind of go within, and it's interesting because the way the cards are laid here on my big fat table, the hermit is shining the lantern right onto that ace of swords. So this person does want some type of breakthrough in communication, but right now maybe they're not speaking that to you. Maybe they're being kind of silent or withdrawn. It's because they're trying to figure shit out, Scorpio. They are. All right. Researching. Now, external to them, why are they doing the hermit? Well, because in their environment, they got the nine of wands. This could be you guys. Very guarded, protecting, stranger danger. The Nine of Wands is like, I've been to hell and back, and I'm effing tired. My walls are up. I'm going to be very, very cautious and protective, okay? We'll persevere, but come at me, and I'm going to have my wand ready. That's the Nine of Wands. There's like past history tied to it, probably this Ten of Swords, okay? So that could be why they're kind of a little bit slow, trying to figure something out. Do I come towards Scorpio? Because they're cautious here. 
there's love here and emotion, but you know, action they're going to be taking throughout the month of June is the hanged man sign of Pisces. So again, spiritual, the hermit and the hanged man are very both spiritual energy because the hanged man is about trying to see something from a different light or a new perspective. It can be, it's temporary ener energy for me with the hanged man. It's taken a big fat minute to see things from a different perspective. So it can be kind of stuck or stalemate energy, but again, it's because somebody's trying to figure some shit out. Okay. All right, let's take a look. Scorpio, how does this person feel about Scorpio and what kind of action will they be taking throughout the month of June? Wow, that shuffle was loud. Sorry about that, but well, gotta move the energy. How does this person feel about Scorpio and what kind of action will they be taking throughout the month of June? Scorpio and their person. What's this person's story? What's on their mind? How do they feel about good old Scorpio deep down? How's this person walk in their talk? What are the external influences affecting their walk? And what kind of action will this person be taking towards Scorpio throughout the month of June? We're doing it. We're getting right to it, Scorpio. We are. All right, let's take a look. So I want one card here. The overall energy on this Ten of Swords and the Page of Cups. So why is this here? There was some type of betrayal or fight or ending or something, and somebody wants to apologize or open up here. A lot of uh, water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. What's this uh, Ten of Swords and Page of Cups? One card on this, please. One card of clarity. The Six of Wands, yes. Six of Wands, Leo energy. But they may want to um, obviously get some, they, they want your attention, right? With the Six of Wands, they want victory and success here with you. Um, you might be in the public eye or they might be in the public eye, eye too. I just got to throw that out there for you but more so with the ten of swords something happened between you guys and they want to offer something um you know it's a page so communication something little but it could be an apology um and with the six of wands they they want to get your attention right because coming in their story right now or what they're telling you or if you're not with this person just their story right now is the ace of swords Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Why is the Ace of Swords here for this person's a story? Yeah, see, judgment. See, oh, rising from the ashes. This always reminds me of the death card, too, because it's like resurrecting the dead, right? With judgment. Again, you know, resurrecting something. Their story or what they're telling you, if they haven't already, is they want some type of communication that really gets to the heart of the matter of something that happened. And judgment is resurrecting, but it's also like taking stock of the past and healing, bringing back something from the dead, Scorpio. So, because what's on their mind is the big fat Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups on this person's mind for Scorpio? It's in their thoughts. Hi, Scorpio. Thanks for showing up. Death card. I love this death card in this deck. Some of you are dealing with another Scorpio. If not, obviously, you're heavily in their energy because you're on their mind. All right, with the Ace of Cups, they want to heal something, possibly um, open up a new cycle, let the old die, right? Go through some type of transformation here. Why is death on this person's mind? What is it? Yeah, see the Page of Cups again. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. A lot of Pisces with the fish. They want to apologize for something that happened in the past is what I'm getting, okay? They love you or they have a lot of emotion for you and they want a, an outpouring of emotion. All right, because... How they feel in their emotions is the hierophant. So maybe you guys are married to this person. It's Taurus energy, but I'm getting more like spiritual energy with this hierophant here. Um, why is the hierophant here in this person's emotions? What is it? The Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords doesn't always have to be manipulation. It certainly can. So we're going to clarify it again. But the Five of Swords can also be taking back your power. So in their emotions, this person's probably learned some lessons. Maybe they were manipulative to you or they felt you were manipulative in some way. It's all about teaching, teaching lessons and learning, right, with the Hierophant as well. Why the Five of Swords? Why is this here? The world. See, you might be dealing with another fixed sign. Okay, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. But I'm just saying a lot of Taurus energy here. But with the world, this is learning lessons. And it's like opening up new chapters, shedding the old. Yeah, maybe somebody was shitty in the past, right? But it's it's how they feel in their emotions. They probably feel that you've taught them some valuable lessons, vice versa. Because the world is all about lessons too. One more card on the world for this person's emotions towards Scorpio. Yeah, see the page of wands. 
communicating that, okay? Leo, Sag, Aries energy, the page of wands, young, fun, flirty. It's like, let's, again, the page of wands is young. It's about going out there and enjoy things, getting after life. It's like there's this revival of fresh energy after learning some lessons. So this person, though, how they're walking on their talk is the hermit, okay? So they're trying to figure some shit out. This person may not even be communicating with you yet, but they want to. What's the hermit? Yeah, see? The two of swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. They're indecisive, and that's why they're the hermit. They're shining the light on, on how to get this breakthrough and victory with you, Scorpio. The two of swords is a um, little bit of a blockage. Two is all about decisions, right? So they're trying to decide, and that's why they're the hermit energy, all right, because external to them is the Nine of Wands. This is probably you. Somebody's very guarded, protected. Their walls are up. Um, why is this Nine of Wands here in their environment? The Chariot, Cancer, Energy. You might be at a distance from this person, so you're protective, right? Um, but also, too, you know, the Chariot is all about obstacles, and it's trying to overcome them to, and moving quickly, right? So I believe this is probably you, Scorpio. You want some type of victory or success, but there's some obstacles in the way, so you're going to be cautious, which is making this person have a, some indecision, okay? Give me one more card on the Chariot. Why is the Chariot here? Why is it the Eight of Wands? You want fast forward movement though. You probably want communication too, but I do think you're gonna be very protective and this person knows that. Like your walls are up a bit, okay? With the Eight of Wands, you want this to manifest communication, arrows of love. A lot of um, travel energy here too. So some of you are at a distance or have to travel to see this person. Now the actions they're gonna be taking towards you, Scorpio, through the month of June is the Hanged Man, Pisces energy. Why is the hanged man here? Why will this person be bringing the good old hanged man energy? Yeah, see the seven of wands. They're defensive too. Their walls are up a little bit. They're also cautious. The seven of wands is um, very defensive. Their walls are up. Both of you guys are protecting yourselves, but there's love and emotion. And this person does want a victory. They want to resurrect something. There's been lessons learned here. But I think throughout the month of June, there's still this kind of energy of, let me see this from a new perspective, but let me take a little bit of a pause. I'm defensive. Scorpio's defensive, right? The Six of Pentacles in reverse. With the Six of Pentacles in reverse, they may feel that they can't give to the situation right now for some reason, all right? Why the Six of Pentacles? Six of Pentacles in reverse is let me get my balance back. You know, something is not balanced right now um, on a practical level. So why is the Six of Pentacles here in reverse for this person's actions? See the Seven of Swords. So they're going to be avoiding something. This person's just closed off. They have their emotions, but they're just not expressing it, though they want to. The Seven of Swords, something happened in the past probably. We have that Ten of Swords and the Seven of Swords. And so this person is just very cautious. All right, They feel like they cannot completely give to you the way they want. And then the Page of Swords, probably just kind of keeping an eye on you, trying to figure out the right time. They have love and emotion for you, and they want a breakthrough. They want to resurrect this. But they're just, I don't know if they're chicken shit or what's going on here, but they're taking a little bit of a pause. The Ten of Cups. Also, the Page of Swords is trying to uncover something. This isn't just about communication and stalking. They are probably keeping an eye on you. But the, the Page of Swords is inquisitive. This person's really trying to figure some shit out about how to come in and get the happiness back with you with the Ten of Cups. All right, Scorpio. So, again, this person's got to figure their shit out. But there is emotion here for you. And they do want to resurrect something here. And I think they will. But they got to figure some shit out. The Seven of Cups. See, I just said they got to figure some shit out. Because the energy throughout the month of June is still some confusion. I don't really see this as options. They're confused about how to get this back. It could be because your walls are up. You know, you're defensive. You want it. They're defensive. Seven of Wands, you know. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Somebody needs to speak up in this situation because and get off their ass, basically, is what I'm seeing because there is a lot of love and emotion here for you. All right. That's what I have. Love you hard. Love me hard back. And we'll speak soon. Take care, you guys.